Luke, we are going to Swansea today. We will be taking the 1930 Great Western Railway service to Carmarth and from Newport Station. Brew, not another train journey again. Last time we were delayed for three hours because of a signalling problem. Luke, we are going there whether you like it or not. Now, we better pack our things. We only have an hour of time before our train departs. Fine, your royal highness. I'm not your royal highness, you monster, so is your father. Okay, the train should be coming any minute now. It's already 1925 and the train should depart in five minutes. Platform 1, for the 1930 Great Western Railway service to Carmarthen. Calling at Cardiff Central, Bridgend, Port Talbot Parkway, Neath, Swansea, Lanethley, Pembury, and Bury Port, and Carmarthen. This train is formed of nine coaches. This train is full and standing and passengers should let passengers off the train first before boarding. Please use all available doors when boarding and leaving the train. Why is that stupid Geraint voice announcing the train? I thought Anne, Matt, Celia or Phil would do that. That's because of Viand logic, and the reason why Celia and Phil aren't announcing is because both of them sadly passed away. Oh, the train is coming. Okay, the train has arrived, so we better get on. All right, we're in. Oh my god. It's only Brainiac Adam. The one and only. I'm here to go home, but I have to change at Cardiff Central. That's cool, Adam. Uh, not that troublemaker Brainiac Adam. He is stealing my window seat. First of all, I'm not a troublemaker, and second of all, I booked this seat, so you are not able to get a window seat. Just give me a window seat. No, you don't, as we booked this seat, that's the first thing, and the second thing is, you, are, still, grounded. What the heck? Why do you think I am grounded even though I am not? You are a liar, since you turn Adam and his best friend, Darren and two children, along with your new friend, Arnold. Ah, I forgot. Now give me a window seat, or I demand to speak with the driver. We, said, no. You are still grounded, end of discussion. W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-
that suet young man. You're grounded until Darren Stratton makes his next request link episode, where Adam wins this time, and while you're grounded, you will be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes for every meal including dessert, have workout punishments, and have belt hoopings during that time. And as we're going to make another trip to Swansea in 14 days by train, you will not be coming with us, instead, Darren and Adam will both babysit you. And as of your behavior, we have decided to give you some punishments so that you can learn your lesson. First punishment, eating a full bowl of lumpy potatoes. No please, don't do this to me, I'm so sorry for what I did. Please give me another chance. Trust me, Adam, with a cherry on the top. I hereby deny your apology. Now start eating or I will give you another bowl of lumpy potatoes. Now let's go to your second punishment. Second and third punishments, turning you into a motor car and make you so rusty so that no one will ever buy you. No 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 no, please, Raphael, I met Darren, please, don't turn me into a motor car and make me so rusty, please, don't, wah. Who cares? No one. Anyway. Time to turn you into a motor car and make you so rusty so that no one will ever buy you. Oh, and I forgot, your voice will change to Ludovico. No. Now it's time to send you to Tyler's game show. I will drive you there. <laughs> Congratulations. You have won a Luke Stenner Fiat 500 motor car. It's all yours to have, now you can drive it out of the studio and drive it freely. Thank you so much, Tyler. You are the best. You're welcome. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, good riddance Luke Stenner. <laughs>